Okay, so picture this. Curtain falls, opening night, huge applause, right? But it doesn't stop. Like it keeps building and building. Six minutes, a full six minutes, the audience is on their feet. The kind of moment that every performer dreams of. <laughs> Sends chills down your spine, you know? <laughs> totally. And we're talking about the revival of Sunset Boulevard playing right now. Today, we're diving deep into the reviews because everyone is saying incredible things, and I mean incredible, about Nicole Scherzinger as Norma Desmond. A truly iconic role. I mean, talk about pressure. Yeah. Glenn Close, Patti LuPone. No kidding. And the reviews, let me tell you, they are not holding back. Chilling, career-defining, feral, some of them even called her performance gargantuan. I haven't heard language like this since, well, ever. So what is it about her performance that's hitting people so hard? Well, that's the question, isn't it? It's really interesting to think about her own career, you know, and how that plays into this role. Scherzinger, <laughs> right? Huge with the Pussycat Dolls, but the solo career in the U.S., it's been a journey, to say yeah. the least. But on stage, Olivier Award for this very role in London. Almost like... Life imitating art, wouldn't you say? Wow. You know, you're right. Are you saying that as this whole other level to it, that the audience can feel that connection, that yearning for that comeback, just like Norma Desmond? Exactly. Sunset Boulevard is all about that hunger for a second act, for reclaiming something that's been lost. And Scherzinger, she brings this raw vulnerability to it. I'm not surprised audiences are blown away. Six minutes of cheering. That's not just politeness. That's raw emotion, a shared experience of being completely blown away. You've got me even more intrigued now. <laughs> but it's not just her, right? All the reviews mention how amazing the director is, too. Jamie Lloyd. Bold, technically marvelous, even completely fresh, which is pretty impressive for a show that's been around the block a few times. Well, that's Jamie Lloyd, isn't it? Famous for a minimalist approach, which, you know, on the surface, you wouldn't think it would work with a Lloyd Webber. Yeah. We expect the spectacle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Give me the chandeliers. Give me the roller skates. You know, the whole shebang. So what's he doing? What's different here? Think of it this way. By stripping away all that glitz, that excess, Lloyd is forcing us to look at what's really going on. The raw emotion, the characters. It's stark, black and white, minimal set. But it makes those feelings so much more intense. Like he's saying, look, forget all the flash. Let's focus on what really matters. And from what I'm hearing... It really works. Interesting. Okay, so a minimalist set, but then they add live video, like projected onto the stage. That's a curveball. What's the thinking behind that? Honestly, this is where I think Lloyd's genius really shines through. See, it's not just there for show. It adds this whole other level. It's making us think about fame, about Hollywood, about theater itself even. It's like a commentary. Okay, whoa, slow down a second. What does that even look like on stage? Give me a visual. All right, so picture this. Act two opens. And we see Tom Francis playing Joe Gillis. He's the young writer, and he's walking. But he's walking through the actual backstage of the theater, live on these video screens, of course. Wait, like backstage? Backstage? Mm -hmm. As in the audience can see everything. You got it. And get yeah. this, he even walks past, I kid you not, a Pussycat Dolls poster. I mean, come on, that's brilliant. And then he walks out onto 44th Street, and it's all live. The line between what's real, what's a show, completely blurred. That is, I have to say, a pretty incredible detail. It's like Lloyd's messing with our heads a bit, making us question yeah, but, what we're seeing. And it makes you think, doesn't it? About how often we do that in our own lives, you know? Yeah. We create stories, buy into illusions. We're all part of the spectacle, whether we realize it or not. Hmm. It's powerful stuff. And that's just one example of how he's using this video. It's immersive. It makes you think. Really interesting stuff. And he's not just pointing the camera outward, is he? Yeah. It makes you think about our role as the audience, too. Like, yeah. Are we part of the illusion, too? Yeah, for sure. But before we go too far down that rabbit hole, I wanted to ask about Tom Francis, you know, playing Joe Gillis. The reviews are really positive about him, too. They are, and deservedly so. Smoldering is a word that comes up a lot. <laughs> and this velvet voice, one reviewer even mentioned this, like this veneer of masculine numbness that really draws you in. Wow, yeah. That's really interesting. It's almost like even he, he's putting on a performance in a way, right? Like hiding his vulnerability, even as he gets drawn deeper into Norma's world. Exactly. And that's the key to their relationship, isn't it? That's what makes it so fascinating. Sunset Boulevard, I mean, it's this classic story. Ambition, delusion, the dark side of fame. It's all right there. It's timeless in a way, don't you think? Those themes, I mean, they pop up everywhere. Hollywood then, Instagram now. It's all the same, really. But okay, so we've got these classic themes, this really interesting directorial vision, but it still comes down to those characters, right? It always does. And that's where I think 
Scherzinger really shines. You know, she goes there. She's not afraid to show Norma's flaws, how she unravels. But then there's this vulnerability, too. Like we were saying before, I think that resonates with people even more, knowing what she's been through. And the critics definitely seem to agree, just from the way they're describing her performance. It's pretty amazing. It's not just hype, though. No. And that's what gets me. The way they talk about her vocals, it's one thing to belt it out, which she can definitely do, but it's those quieter moments, too. This hush, this intimacy. It's incredible. Like, chills, you know. Sounds like she made this role her own, which is saying something. Not an easy thing to do with a part like that. But we've talked about her a lot. What about the rest of the cast? Everyone brings their A game, you know. Critics love David Daxton, especially. He plays Max, the butler. He's amazing. So much more to that character than you'd think. Right. You need that strong supporting cast, right, to balance out these big personalities. Okay, but what about the love triangle? That's a big part of the original. What's Lloyd doing with that? You know, it's interesting. He actually streamlines it. It's still there. But the focus is really on Norma and Joe, on that relationship. The other part, with Betty, the young writer, it's not as developed. Huh. So a choice. But it works, you're saying. It does. It lets us stay with those two, with Norma and Joe. And their relationship is the heart of it, right? This kind of this destructive, almost symbiotic thing they've got going on. That classic train wreck, you know? <laughs> you can't look away, even though you know it's not going to be pretty in the end. And isn't that always the best kind of story? Those big themes, ambition, downfall, what we'll do for fame. It gets us every time, no matter who we are. It makes you think, too, about how, you know, even with those classic elements, this production isn't shying away from some of the darker sides of show business, right? Like, if anything, it's kind of leaning into them. One review, it actually described the video as spectacle as a cocaine jolt, <laughs> which is, wow. That's Lloyd, though, isn't it? He's not afraid to be provocative. And, yeah, I think it speaks to how he's using this technology. It's not just, oh, look, pretty pictures on a screen. It's about getting under your skin. It's about making us feel something, right? Pulling us into that world, those feelings of ambition and, well, yeah, delusion, too. Exactly. And I think that's what makes this production more than just a show. You know, it's an experience. It stays with you. Which brings us back to that six-minute standing ovation. I mean, clearly something about the Sunset Boulevard is really hitting home with people. It's the power of story, isn't it? You can have all the bells and whistles, all the fancy staging in the world, but when it comes down to it, it's that human connection that really gets us, that raw emotion. And at the heart of it, you have Nicole Scherzinger giving a performance that people are calling, well, a revelation. She's incredible. <laughs> she found a way to make Norma Desmond both this this larger-than-life figure, but also so human, you know, vulnerable. That's not easy. It's no wonder people are saying this is her moment. So what we're really saying is this isn't just a revival. It's something totally new, right? This Sunset Boulevard, it's a statement about fame, about ambition, about what happens when we chase those second acts. And what are we willing to sacrifice for them, yeah. right? I think that's the question this production really asks us to consider. In a world obsessed with what's new, What's next? Where does that leave everyone else? That's something we all grapple with, I think. And maybe that's why this story resonates so much. It makes us think about these big questions, even after the curtain comes down. It definitely gives you a lot to think about, that's for sure.